Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, we are going to study about uh, uh, another concept related to digital electronics which is the logic gates. Okay? So, it is a very uh, important topic in itself okay? because it covers an important part of digital electronics which is the integrated circuits that are used for the implementation of the various logic expressions. Okay. So, so logic gate, okay, the basic definition of a logic gate is that it is an integrated circuit. Okay. It is a it is an integrated circuit that are used to implement the basic logic operations and by basic logic operations I refer to the not operation or the inversion operation, the AND operation, the OR operation uh, and the other associated operations. Okay? So, the logic gates they can be divided into two categories. First one is the basic logic gates. Okay? the basic logic gates. The basic gates they involve the NOT gate or which is also called as the inverter. Then we have the AND gate, the OR gate. the exclusive OR gate or which is also called as the XOR gate and the XNOR gate. Okay? Then we have another category of logic gates which is called as the universal gates. Okay. They are called as universal gates because each of these expressions which we get as the output of these basic gates, they can be implemented using these universal gates. We can implement each of these gates using the universal gates. And the universal gates, there are two. First one is the NOR gate and the second one is the NAND gate. These are the two universal gates and this is the basic gates, these the two universal gates. Okay? So, this is the categorization of the logic gates and we will discuss each of these gates and their uh, symbols, the truth table one by one in detail. Okay? So, the first logic gate which we are going to study is the NOT gate and it is also called as the inverter. Okay? So, it performs the inversion or complementation operation. Okay? So, what it means is that it changes one logic level to the opposite logic level. We know that in digital uh, circuits or Boolean algebra, there are only two values which a uh, logic variable or Boolean variable can take. Logic 0 or logic 1. So, what the NOT gate does is that if a logic 0 is applied at its input, it will change it to logic 1 and if a logic 1 is applied at its input, it will change it to logic 0. It will complement it, it will invert it. That is why the name inverter or the NOT gate. So, basically it performs the complementation operation. Okay? So, it has a symbol a schematic symbol associated with it which can be used to identify whether the gate which is used in the circuit is uh, which type of gate 
each of the gates involved have their own unique schematic symbols. So the schematic symbol of the NOT gate is something like this. Okay. Okay. This is the input, let us say x and the output, let us say y and y is equal to x complement. Okay. This is the symbol. This uh, it, it, it is uh, it can be a triangle with a bubble. You can remember it as a triangle with a bubble at the tip of the triangle, the upper tip. So, this is the symbol of the knot gate and uh, the truth table, well, the truth table is a basic relationship between the input and uh, the output. So, the input is x and the output is y. So, when the input is low okay, or 0, the output is high, the opposite, the complement, the inverted version. And when the input is high or 1, the output is low, 0. It is a simple relationship between the input and the output. Output is just the opposite of the input. If the input is 0, low, logic low, output will be 1, high or logic high. If the input is high or 1, the output will be 0 or low. So, this is a simple operation of the NOT gate.